now let me talk about another important functions in arrays and strings uh, the, that is about the joints joints takes an array and returns a string so for example you have an array with the values 1 2 3 4 5 and you wanted to have uh, you wanted to add a space between each value then you can use a join join function to an array and load all these data into a string into a com common string earlier it was an array which showing a multiple val which was holding multiple values now you wanted to extract those everything and store it in a single string then you can uh, use a function called join in a similar way you have a split function that can split the value and uh, it writes the data into an array it is quite opposite to an array I mean a join join and splits are very very much useful so let me take some example and try to run this so that you can understand it more clear and more in details so join functions here in an array I'm storing the values from 1 2 3 4 5 and I'm um, adding a uh, delimited is the character that is comma so that when I, when I try to print this string so it will print uh, and with, uh, with a single thing with a single character I mean within a single line so let me save this so before this what we will do is we will print an array print at the rate array array so that it will show you how what are the different values it has and now in string what values it get populated so let me run this to clear screen and what is the name of it the name of it is join if you and see so you can see one two three four five has been printed first and then later it is printing this so let me print this onto a new line so that we can understand it, uh, the differences okay so you can see one two three four five and you can see a comma is there in the string so that's how a join function work and now let us look at the split function uh, split function okay so you have a days uh, it is also it all everything data is stored in a single variable the opposite to the last one and uh, you are declaring an array and in the array you are storing all these variables that is split so how do you split splitting by comma delimited uh, and what is a string variable uh, I mean variable name that is days and print at the rate arrays so that it will print all these Sunday Monday and Tuesday till Saturday and I want to check the size of an array since array is a new way new array variable that I have declared and uh, after that I'm trying to take the value from a uh, scalar variable and uh, loading it into it and uh, I want to check the length of it so in order to check the length you have a dollar hash array plus one and the size of an array is this and print I'm trying to print a specific array value based on the index so let's see let's get here and try to run the program so another function is called as a split split fuNC dot pl here you go so first before any changes I mean sorry after changing the values and after uh, moving this scalar variable into an array variable so th the, you can I can see all the values and then next the size of an array is 7 and I'm now trying to print the third value of an array that is Tuesday that is being printed this is wonderful right the split function is very 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 I can say it's extremely useful when you're working writing any some complex script or you might be expecting a single variable with you might be receiving a data with a delimited file and you wanted to extract those into your variables multiple variables instead of getting your instead of getting loaded into a multiple variables simply use an array and uh, index components are there so based on the index you can extract the value right so thank you so much for watching this video I'll be coming up with more and more videos on Perl have a good day